Hello friends from YouTube, Fred Bergeron here from Inaccess Security Systems. In today's video, I will show you three ways of manually adding users into the ICT Protege WX platform. All right, so um, to, for this e exercise, I have in front of me my uh, training kit, which I use for GX and WX, okay? Um, but in this example, I'm using the WX panel, okay? So let's have a look at the interface and I will show you how this, do this is done. All right, so from the web interface, from the home page, um, the first way to create users that, you know, we find uh, quite um, convenient is to use the user wizard, okay? Um, so this is under here, under wizards, and the user wizard, okay? Uh, from this page, uh, you, obviously you can manually add users. What's interesting also is depending on your list of partitions, areas, or access levels, uh, I'm sorry, doors, um, if I select a different combination of these items, our areas and doors, if there's already an, an access level in the system that has those items in it, it will be added to the user automatically. Or if there's no combination of those areas and doors, the system will create a new access level record for you, okay? So let's have a look at how I can add a user into there. So here at the top, I have the first name, okay? So let's call it Fred Bergeron. You have the pin, obviously the pin must be unique, okay? create something random. I can select the area I want to give access to, and let's say I want to give them two doors, okay? Um, the next step here, um, the family code. So usually um, the family code or side code is written on the card. If you don't have that written on the card, it should be written on um, the box uh, that came with the cards, okay? Usually uh, ICT uh, cards are of a specific batch and they have the site code and the range of card numbers on the box to facilitate, you know, programming later, okay? Uh, if you don't know what the family is or the site code is, uh, in the next uh, step or couple steps, I will show you how to find out and how to add the user from the, the events page, okay? But in this example, I do know what the site code is, okay? So I select here and this is my site code, right? And this is my card number, okay? So now if I click on add user, you see I have a new user in there with the correct site code and card number. And just to try, I'm gonna badge my card on door two, access granted. So you see it's very easy to add a user this way, okay? Um, as I said before, if you don't know what the site code is, okay? Uh, or if you want to quickly add a user from events, let's say you have a, a coworker who's at the door and he's badging cards for you to add into the system, you can go under the monitoring page under events Okay, now if I badge a new card, I will see the card details show up in the event history, you see? So this is the site code, all right? And 4751 is the card number. There's a little plus sign here that you can click on, okay? Either you add this to an existing user, okay? Or you can create a new user, let's do it that way. All right, create a new user, I click okay. Now I have a warning or a message, sorry, saying that the user has been added. So if I go to the users list, I have Oleg here in the list. I can now go under access levels, okay, and add Oleg a new access level. So I will, call, I will give him master because he's the master, he can go everywhere, all right? And then I hit save. So now if I use this card, access granted, all right? So again, this was the second way, uh, you know, adding users from the users list. Now, Obviously, from the user's menu, okay, I have another interesting trick to add the card in there. So if I had a new record, okay, and uh, let's call him Bob, just inventing names here, okay, I can again use a new pin code. If you want to add the card without having to enter the data, you can hit on the add card from reader, and then the system is going to look you know, for the next um, raw data event, so for the next card unknown event in the system. So I can see, oh yeah, that's the correct card number I want to add. I select the card, add it, and it's gonna be using spot number one in the list of eight cards that I can have to a user. So if I hit save, oh, hold on one second, I missed one step, sorry. You need to give the user an access level. Okay, so let's give it master and save. Now it's going to work. All right, access granted. Okay, so this basically was three different ways of adding users manually in the ICT Protege WX system. I hope you liked the video. 
Um, again, remember ICT, uh, sorry, Nexus is the distributor of ICT products in Canada, and we're here to help you. If you need anything from us, go to inaccess.com and you can reach the sales and support team from there. All right, so again, thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaccess. Thank you. Thank you.